Hey, what's up, you guys? I wanted to show you guys how to get um, Ballistic Bok and High Hefe. I'm going to show you how to get all the recipes, um, but those are the main ones most people are going for. So that's pretty much what I'm going to title it, how to get um, Ballistic Bok and High Hefe. So there's a mission you have to do or a quest line. It's, um, it's not that long. It's pretty fun. It's interesting. You get um, the Bruin Station and a Fermented Station from it. So you go ahead and spawn in, like you've seen, I spawned in at um, Morgantown High School, and you run down the little road. You go, you spawn over there, you run this way, you come this way, you look for this house. This house is going to have a poster on it. You go ahead and read the poster, and it starts the mission for you. Um, so once the mission is going, it's going to tell you do do stuff, like go inspect places or whatever i'm not too sure the steps but i do know the buildings there's three buildings you gotta go to and this is one of them right here on the map is gonna be directly right here where i'm at the other one you go this way i believe um i think it's back here and then you go in there too and you look for clues or you do some i haven't done it in like two three years so um yeah, I'm just going to show you the hot the hot building. So hot building means you have to go there. Um, you go in here and you do some stuff. I don't know what you do, but you do something. And that first building. And then after that, you have to go to Biv. Biv is going to be down here. So I recommend just fast traveling to Big L Tattoo Parlor. So once you fast travel, it puts you right in front of the building. I don't know what building you go into first. But once you click the mission, it will tell you go in this building or this building. Like I'll give you a highlighter. And those, these are the buildings you have to go to. I think this is last for sure. Because once you learn all the secrets, you come here. And there's also a cap stash up here. So if you need caps, go ahead and loot that. Um, it's going to tell you go into the building and find the entrance or find the secret or find something. Um, so what you could do, um, if I wouldn't tell you this, I pretty sure you would not have found it right away um because it took me forever to find it uh but there's gonna be a marker in here it's gonna be like find a way or find something and then um yeah you just pretty much open this cooler and then once you open the cooler it takes you to the secret room you come over here and then i don't really know the steps like i'm saying um i don't know if you have to talk to bib or if you have to go on the computer i also remember they're kind of being a note right here so i don't know if you pick up the note and then the note tells you what to do um but yeah these are pretty much the steps and then um like it's gonna give you no you have to go find this 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 and that so the note is pretty much gonna tell you go find these items and for the most part you should have a couple of these items it's gonna be like nuclear material you have to crap a nuke a nuka shine let me go where nuka shine is uh, Nuka Shine. It's gonna tell you go look for boiled water, go get corn, nuclear material, a Nuka Quantum. That might be the hardest thing to find, um, but it does tell you where to find one. Uh, wood and razor grain. So uh, the hardest thing to find here is gonna be the nu Nuka Quantum. Uh, corn and razor grain can be found over here. Um, this place right here, Billy's Homestead, you spawn in right here as Silver's Homestead. There's corn on this building. And then once you come to the workshop area, if you come a little bit down, there's razor grain on there. So that's where you cover those two things at. Nuka Quantum is really hard to find. Um, I recommend if you really have trouble finding that, there's a Nuka uh, Red red rocket um mega shop you come here there's a bunch of vending machines so just look in a nuka vending machines and hopefully you find a nuka shine i mean um a nuka quantum in the vending machines i think there's six vending machines in this area and then you just look for them there and then you come here and um you craft it and then once you craft it you give it to him and then he gets hella happy and then you start quest with him and you could do this quest every single day it's once a day and each day you get a new recipe and these are the recipes you get i think you start off with nothing you might have a couple of them um but the good ones you don't um yeah you don't get so you get ballistic bog was a really good one this one for like commando builds it I don't know what it does, um, and high voltage chiefy. I know what it does, like this helps out your commando weapons. I don't know if it's like more accurate or more damage, and this is more damage for your energy weapon. I might have some on me. Um, Ballistic Bach improves your weapon's damage for 15, uh, by 15% for 5 minutes, 
and high hefe is the same thing but for energy weapons and that's why most people like them but don't sleep on these underrated ones there's a couple of them that are underrated um Red Ant Logger, that one gives you strength for five minutes, I think. I mean, it's not a lot, but I mean, free strength whenever you're a little bit overweight is not bad. Um, there's White Russian, which helps um, reduce limb damage. This one is decent um, for whenever you're fighting like Earls or um, just where there's a bunch of monsters or when you're taking fall damage. This one's really good. Um, Nuka Shine is underrated. Liquid Courage is underrated. I don't think anybody makes Liquid Courage, but that's um, a really easy make right there. All you need is Razor Grain and Corn, and you need it for Earl. So if you do Earl, you should get one of these anyway. So that's a really good one. Nuka Cola is a really good one. I think that one, I might be wrong. I think it gives you strength or it gives you something decent. Nuka Shine, like I said, this one's really underrated. It gives you um 100% melee damage. So that one's really decent. Um, those are mainly the highlights of them. There's a bunch of other stuff that I don't really like know it like they give you like strength or Perception or charisma or whatever the other ones are kind of lame um, But yeah, you gotta get lucky. It don't give you whatever you want It just gives you a random one so you come to him and you're gonna be like go make me this You gotta go make him the drink and then once you make the drink you gotta come and give it to him and then sometimes it tells you to drink the drink yourself and then you drink it yourself and then it's gonna be like go do a mission while you're drunk under that drink it's gonna be like go test your perception so you would have to shoot a monster it'll be like test your speed you would have to run somewhere it would tell you um test your charisma you would have to buy something so there is a limit once you drink it you got like two three minutes to do that little challenges it gives you so make sure you don't drink it and go back 30 minutes trying to do the challenge you gotta drink it then and then do the challenge and then come to him and then he is a drunk dude so if you come here and you push x on him and you're wondering why nothing's happening it's not broken the game's not broken it's just he's a drunk guy so you gotta push x over and over and over and over and over and over again until he finally um like notices you're standing in front of him because he um there's times you're here clicking it for like a minute or two and he just yeah he's drunk um so that's how you get um Oh, also, you get a fermenting station, this one, and you get a, a brewing station, and you can place these in your camp. This is the only place you get them, and once you have these in your camp, and once you learn the recipe you want, you can kind of stop doing these challenges. Um, but they're fun to do each time just to have something to do. Um, like I said, and they're pretty easy. Like for this one, all you need is razor grain pretty much, and you should have everything out. So you could make like a 100 ballistic box, and if you really want to, you can start selling these for like 100 caps each. Um, same thing with any other drink, I guess. Um, yeah, but that's the mission. That's how you do it. And yeah, peace out, you guys.